question. Uh, almost all of these 12 million illegal immigrants who are here would qualify for this new Z visa, which would make them legal residents of the United States. So here's the question. Why isn't this amnesty? It isn't an amnesty because Why? what this bill does is it sets standards, the standards that I mentioned. Learning English, passing background checks. Uh, there's a touchback provision. The head of household has to go back and then apply. I believe that is unworkable too. It divides up families, but you don't immediately get an amnesty. You don't immediately get citizenship. It's a process that takes about 13 years. Now, I commend the Congress for facing up to having a legalization plan, but I will not support a bill. Our immigration laws in this country always bring families together. This separates families. Right. There's also a provision, right. this is important, that involves, that involves guest workers. Right. They should have labor protections. We don't All want right. to create a permanent underclass in those workers. Senator Biden, let me weigh, uh, let you weigh in. You voted last year to support this immigration legislation, including the construction of an approximately 700-mile fence along the border between the United States and Mexico. Uh, Governor Richardson doesn't think there needs to be such a fence. Why is he wrong? Well, he's not wrong. Uh, there doesn't need to be a 700-mile fence, but there does need. Look, we had to start, as it, we, we all love this phrase, start talking truth to power. 14 million illegals. Now, you tell me how many buses, car loads, planes, you're going to go out and round up all these people, spend hundreds of millions and billions of dollars to do it for the whole world watching while we send these folks back, rather than rather than get a background check on all of them, take out the criminals, get them back, and provide for means by which we allowed earned citizenship over the next so, decade or so. so. Folks, being commander-in-chief requires you to occasionally be practical. If, if, if you don't think there needs to be a fence, why did you vote for that legislation? Well, the, that fence was, the reason I voted for the fence was that was the only alternative that was there, and I voted for the fence related to drugs. You can, a fence will stop 20 kilos of, co of cocaine coming through that fence. It will not stop someone climbing over it or around it. And so, the, but, but, the, but this bill has a much more reasonable provision in it. It has much, much uh, uh, a shorter fence. It does have the Border Patrol requirements. And it is designed not just to deal with illegals. It's designed right. with a serious drug trafficking problem we have. Let me bring back Senator Obama. You also voted for that legislation, including the construction of that fence. And some say to be even-handed, if you want to build a fence along the border with Mexico, you should also build a fence along the border with Canada. Well, we, sh we should certainly do a better job patrolling the borders in Canada. Uh, in fact. Uh, this recent case with uh, the young lawyer who had tuberculosis uh, being waved through by a border guard because he said he looked okay uh, is a problem. And we've got to strengthen uh, our uh, border patrols on both sides. But, but let's go back to the, the essential issue here. Uh, we are a country of immigrants. We're also a country of laws. And the question is how do we balance that appropriately? I am hopeful that we can solve this problem constructively. I think Joe is exactly right that we want to have uh, a situation in which those who are already here are playing by the rules, are willing to pay a fine and go through a rigorous process should have uh, a pathway to legalization. And I think most Americans will support that if they have some sense that the border is also being secured. What they don't want is a situation in which there is a pathway to legalization and you've got another several hundred thousands of folks coming in every year. And that, I think, right. is a sensible position we should be able to arrive at. We're going to move on to the next question, but before we do, one related question, and I'm going to periodically ask you to raise your hand if you agree uh, or if you, uh, if you agree with the question. And I want you to raise your hand if you believe English should be the official language of the United States. The only hand I see is uh, Senator Gravel. Yeah, we, we speak English. That doesn't mean we can't encourage other languages. I speak French and English. And people speak Spanish and English. But the official language of the United States of America is English. Can, can I just make a point, right. though? I, I have to say that this, that, that kind of question... All right, hold on. That, that, this is the kind of question that is designed precisely to divide us. Uh, you know, you're right. Everybody... Is gonna, everybody is going to learn to speak English if they live in this country. Uh, the issue is not whether or not 
future generations of immigrants are going to learn English. The question is, uh, how can we come up with both a legal, sensible immigration policy? And when we get distracted by those kinds of questions, I think we do a disservice to the American people. And All right. Well, I'm going to save our applause till the end, please. Senator Clinton. Wolf, let me add that we faced that in uh, the Senate last year as to whether we would or would not vote for it. The problem is that if it becomes official instead of recognized as national, which indeed it is, it is our national language. If it becomes official, that means in a place like New York City, you can't print ballots in any other language. That means you can't have government pay for translators in hospitals so when somebody comes in with some sort of emergency, there's nobody there to help translate what their problem is for the doctors. So we, uh, many of us, I did at least, voted to say that English was our national language but not the official language because of the legal consequences.